This is Mark Ovo from www.houseinvestigations.com. Lead paint can make you stupid. The fall of the Roman and Greek empires were the result of lead paint poisoning. The fall of the U.S. could be next. Why do you think our country is full of stupid people, stupid politicians, and stupid children? They are all lead poisoned. Lead dust is everywhere in the U.S. The dust poisons your brain and lowers your IQ by 10 to 15 percent, not to mention hyperactivity, restlessness, and about 50 other more problems that you can buy over-the-counter drugs for. This is why our kids are on Ritalin. We have full jails, high dropout rates. We have kids shooting kids. We have dis disgruntled postal office workers, postpartum moms, and schools full of kids with special needs and much more. Lead paint poison people make bad decisions. Okay, I guess I'm stretching it here. Enough of Marco's world. Let's solve our lead problems today in old homes and new homes. Let's start with the old homes. In the U.S., the paint manufacturers put as much as 30% lead content in our paint. Now, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years later, the paint is failing. Our homes are full of lead dust. Remember, it's not the new paint that's failing. It's the old paint under the new paint that's failing. The paint can fail for many reasons. Old age, leaks, ice dams, weather exposure, rain, sun, wood expansion, wood contraction, high or indoor humidity. High humidity can travel to the outside and cause the paint to fail. High exterior humidity, friction, impact, and much more. The number one lead generator in our homes is our old windows. The windows have friction as they move up and down. They have severe weather and temperature changes. And the paint chips inside the walls turn to dust. Then we open the windows and the lead dust enters our homes. You need to clean your window walls with soap or phosphate solution on a weekly basis. If you take a baby wipe and wipe down the well of your window and the baby wipe is dirty, well guess what? It's contaminated. Windows are friction surfaces that are huge lead dust machines. The dust gets on your computer, food, carpets, and your children's toys. The number two lead dust generator in our homes is the exterior wood and the exterior exposed soil. For the last 70 years, we scraped, blasted, burned, heat gun, and painted our homes. The paint falls to the ground, contaminates the soil. It also blows in the air and contaminates your yard and probably your neighbor's home. Not to mention, we have tree lawns that are contaminated with leaded gasoline fallout. Lead dust travels just like the 9-11 dust travel. I recently performed a forensic dust testing in a $10 million condo in Manhattan in September 2006. Even five years later after this collapse, I found the exact dust. In another example, we tested an attic in Cleveland, a house that was located about a mile half a mile from an old lead smelter that has been closed for probably 40 years and we found lead dust up in the attic and so this stuff hangs around for a long time um, you cannot have exposed soil around an old home you need to remove the top two inches and cover the ground with sand concrete stone mulch or grass and this is the same for kid play areas playground areas around the garage and any area in your property where there's exposed soil. The number three lead generator in our homes is the interior paint failure. In the older homes, the kitchens, baths, hallways, doors, window trim had semi-gloss which probably contained lead paint. The old doors, windows, and porches have constant friction and impact that continues to cause paint failure. The basement foundation systems are old and they permit leakage, condensation, and of course paint failure. This lead dust gets tracked all over the house. It contaminates carpets, clothes, furniture, and children's toys. Okay, we can do a few things. We can move, we can abate, or we can perform cleaning and interim controls. If you abate, make sure that the contractor is certified. Vinyl siding, new windows, new carpets, new porch, basement interior, waterproofing, plastic panel encapsulation, a full house dust cleaning can probably cost you about $30,000. Or we can clean the windows weekly, wash the floors weekly, cover the exterior soil with grass or some type of covering, put outdoor carpets over our exposed wood porches we can even lock up our basement for about two hundred dollars people who live in older homes need to buy a HEPA vacuum cleaner this vacuum cleaner will remove dust old vacuum cleaners just spread the dust all over the house and continually contaminate the home you also need to feed your children proper food that helps remove lead from their bodies you need to watch your children play they may be getting poisoned at grandma's playing behind the old garage did you know that a little six-year-old girl can be poisoned by lead? This lead is stored in her bones 
And when she becomes sturdy and pregnant, her fetus can absorb this lead 24 years later and damage the fetus. The fetus could be premature, dead, or have a low IQ. Did you know that you can poison your children simply by sitting on your cloth couch wearing dirty clothes that, you may, that may have lead in them from your job? You can poison your children by picking them up with your dirty hands? Did you know that 90% of American cats are stupid because they lick their lead-infested paws all day long? It's very difficult to teach cats tricks because they have attention deficit disorder and a very low IQ. Well, little children put their hands and toys in their mouths too. If you have lead dust in your home, they will be poisoned. This is Marco Ball from www.houseinvestigations.com. Please visit my website for additional information pertaining to lead paint and lead cleaning. Please also watch my other videos. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.